Greetings and welcome, ladies and gentlemen. We're taking a look at last night's quest, uh, which was related to Long Division of Polynomials. Uh, on page 271. Here's problem 23, and you might be like, yo, where's the division? Yo, is what you'd say. And we're multiplying by this little, you know, binomial to the negative first power. What's that tell me to do? That tells me to move it downstairs, right? So I'm technically, technically dividing by g plus 3 instead of multiplying by it. So let's uh, set this up. Long Actually, do I have to do this one long division style, or could I have done it the other way? I could not do it the other way because I'm dividing by a binomial, the other way of putting your uh, denominator under each of the terms individually. That only works when it's a monomial. So let's uh, do this. So divide, multiply, subtract, bring down, if I'm not mistaken, DMSB, repeat, repeat. So here we go. Uh, let's do some division. Leading term by leading term. G squared divided by G is G. I'll throw that in the G's column. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, multiply, G times G is G squared. G times 3 is 3G. <laughs> 4G nowadays, though, am I right? Uh, subtract step, uh, G squared minus G squared is 0. 8G minus 3G, because don't forget you're subtracting. It's the subtract step, after all. Uh, it's going to be 5G's. Uh, yeah, that's that's definitely Y-ish looking. I could see that. Yeah, I'll fix that right there, and then no one will ever. Oh, oop, oh, there it goes. There we go, and bam. Those are those are beautiful now. So I've completed one full cycle of DMSB. Now I'm going to rinse and repeat. Uh, so let's uh, divide leading term by leading term. Right, so 5G, oh, that's an ugly 5. I don't even know what that is. 5G divided by G would be 5. So that's positive. I'm going to throw that up in the constants column, right? And now multiply. 5 times G is 5G. 5 times 3 is 15. And subtract. 0. So my answer is G plus 5, no remainder. Bam. <coughs> so there's our first problem. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Next question is a little bit sneakier. Sneakier. Sneakers. Um, also, in this case, I'm dividing by a binomial, two terms, right? So uh, that's going to go on the outside, 2T plus 3. Notice my T's, I like to put a little tail on it just so it doesn't get mixed up with a plus sign later on. Uh, I'm dividing that into, oh, and be careful, friends. Let's see, my highest exponent is 3, so I'll have 6T cubed plus 5T squared, and uh-oh, I don't have a T to the first. I don't have a linear term, but I have to represent it. So I'll put an, a 0T, an overtime, OT right there. Mm -hmm. So I need a placeholder. Right? It's all like W U O T I, am I right? Bam! How cool was that? That was amazing. That's so cool. So now that I've got it set up, the placeholder is probably the primary trick, quote unquote, in this problem. So let's divide, multiply, subtract, bring down. Uh, so 6t cubed divided by 2t uh, is 6 divided by 2 is 3t cubed divided by t is t squared. So where am I going to throw that? In the t squareds column. Multiply. I've got, let's see, 3t squared times 2t is 6t cubed, fortunately. And multiply by 3, I'm going to get 9t squared. Oh, here we go. This next step. Let's see. Here's four possible answers. Is it 13t squared? Is it 4t squared? Is it negative 4t squared? Or is it negative 13t squared? Those would be the multiple choice responses that you'll see on the quiz tomorrow when I have the little...
box right there and I'll say, here's a partly done long division problem. What goes in the box? So what is the correct answer? C. Negative 4. Negative 4 T squared. Wow. Right? Uh, how did he figure that out? Well, he remembered that this was the subtract step. So technically this whole thing is being subtracted. 5 minus a positive 9. All right, that's going to be negative 4. Mm. Bring down the OT. And now we do another cycle. Divide the leading term by the leading term. Negative 4t squared divided by 2t. Uh, and I'm going to get negative 2t. Where am I going to put it? The negative 2t goes in the t column. Right there. And now multiply. Right? Distribute to both of those. Negative 2t times 2t is negative 4t squared. Negative 2t times 3 is minus 6t, not 6d, but 6t. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Subtract. Oh, this one's a semi-good one right here. Let's see. Negative 4 minus a negative 4 is plus 4, so that's 0. Bam. 0 minus a negative 6? Positive 6t. Bam. All right. Bring it around town. Here we go. Plus 9. We're still not done. Ah, oh, because I still got to get something to fill in the constants column. Right? So here we go. Let's uh, divide the leading term by the leading term. 6t by 2t. Yeah, that's just straight up 3. So plus 3 in the constants. Multiply. 3 times 2t is 6t. 3 times 3 is 9. Oh, no, they didn't. Remainder of 0. That's right. 3t cubed minus 2t plus 3. Well done, ladies and gentlemen. Well done. Well, okay. Uh, so there's our little video on last night's quest. Hopefully you succeeded. Good job writing down those corrections in your different colored writing utensil. Bye-bye.